Hi YouTube. Five years ago I showed you how to make a wildlife conservation area in your back garden. What I didn't show you was how to make this aesthetically pleasing and full of natural life. Join me in these eight steps of how to upgrade your wildlife pond. Taking out the build-up of sludge at the bottom of your pond is essential in keeping it clean. Although you don't want to take out too much of this sludge, you should take out at least 50% every year or so. You can learn how to make your own pond vacuum using my instructional video. Your pond liner may suffer weakness or tears during the life of its use. You can detect where the natural level is by allowing your pond to evaporate and then checking where the dirt level is. Wherever the dirt accumulates is where the pond liner is dry. What I would do is use pond liner tape to cover this extra area so that you have a few extra inches of water level. Duckweed is a great addition to your pond. It removes nitrogen and other organic waste and acts as a filter to prevent algae growth. Adding Elodia Densa plants as well as a coconut tadpole hut which you can mount the Elodia Densa within is a great addition to your pond. It oxygenates the water and acts as a biological filter and also provides further cover for tadpoles and other marine uh, wildlife. You can add frog bit straight to your pond. It will naturally float to the surface and root itself. It provides cover for tadpoles and other marine wildlife and also acts as a platform for froglets to leave the water on. Using a tablespoon or so of barley straw balls can reduce the water algae. You will notice that the water will clear up after four or five days after the balls have been inserted. Please note that algae is actually quite beneficial for a pond, so don't do this that often. An air oxygenator pump is a perfect way to oxygenate the water within your pond, which will reduce algae and bad quality water for your wildlife inhabitants. You can hook this up through an electrical outlet within your house and then just run a long piece of airline under the ground into your pond. It's very easy and so much easier than installing a pond pump or a pond filter pump which will require an electrical line going outside. When digging a pond you can create a ledge which will naturally hide the liner. I didn't do this and this actually worked in my favour because it created more spaces for amphibians to burrow within the folds of the liner. In order to combat the aesthetically unpleasing look of the black liner, I've used some artificial grass to cover it. I've also lined it with some natural rocks which make it look very aesthetically pleasing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you for the next video.